welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a one brand makeup tutorial using all Maybelline products so this is the look that I came up with using all Maybelline makeup products with a lot of green going on on the eyelids and a bold red lip so yeah if you want to know how I achieved this makeup look using all Maybelline products then please do continue watching I'm gonna be conducting a giveaway for hitting 20k on YouTube the rules to participate in the giveaway will be given in the description box so make sure to check it out if you want to win the giveaway makeup products but if you want to know how I achieve this makeup look then please do continue watching so I'm gonna begin with my eye makeup first and for that I'm gonna pick up the Maybelline Fashion Brow Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Brown to fill in my brows first. So this is like an ashy brown um, brow pencil which uh, suits my brows. It doesn't give too much of a dramatic finish, um, it's more on the natural side. So I'm just using the pencil to fill in any gaps that I can see in my brows. Then I'm going to take the Fit Me Concealer in the shade Cafe which is like an exact uh, color of my own skin tone and I'm going to use that as a base for my eyeshadow as well as to clean up under the bottom area of my brows to make it look more sharp and defined. And once that is done, I'm just going to pick up a blending brush to blend out the concealer. For eyeshadow, I'm gonna take the Nudes eyeshadow palette, which is a neutral sort of an eyeshadow palette, and I'm gonna pick up this uh, brown shade, and this is more on the cool toned side, and I'm gonna use that to apply that on the crease as a transition, and as well as to contour my um, eyes, basically. Then I'm going to take the City Mini eyeshadow palette in the style Urban Jungle which is like a green toned um, eyeshadow palette and I'm going to pick up this golden green uh, mossy green sort of a shimmer eyeshadow and uh, I'm using the brush that came along with the packaging to apply that on the main areas of my eyelids which is the two thirds of my eyelids except the outer corners. And then I'm going to take this uh, champagne gold um, eyeshadow from the same palette and I'm going to just apply that right on top of the shimmer green that I just applied just to make it look more vibrant and more metallic and shimmery. Then I'm going to take this almost black looking green shade um, and I'm going to use that at the very edge of the shimmer eyeshadow at the outer corners. Then gonna dive into the nudes eyeshadow palette again and picking up that matte black eyeshadow on a pencil brush and applying that at the edge of the uh, matte green eyeshadow that we applied at the outer corner in like a V shape and I'm not gonna go above the crease. Once the eyeshadows have been placed, I'm going to take a tapered blending brush to blend out the edges of all the eyeshadows um, on the crease. Moving on to the face, I'm going to take the Master Prime uh, Green Color Correcting Primer. I bought this primer after a lot of confusion of whether to buy it or not and seems like Maybelline just released their Fit Me Primer. So, so story of my life. Uh, so yeah, I'm just applying the primer on the main areas of my face and blending it out using my fingertips. So this is like a regular primer which uh, helps in priming your face and creates a smooth canvas. And then I'm going to take the Cafe Concealer uh, from Fit Me again to conceal all of the hyperpigmentation on my face. So that is around my mouth and the dark circles and the acne spots on the cheeks. And this is such a good concealer on my complexion. It is so, so easy to blend and it's got medium coverage so it doesn't look cakey as well and super easy to blend. Quickly, I'm going to pick up my uh, damp beauty blender to blend um, all of the concealer out. Mm -hmm. 
for foundation i'm going to take the popular foundations of all time which is the fit me matte and poreless foundation and my shade is 335 classic tan which is such a great match for my complexion so i'm just using my damp beauty blender to apply and blend the foundation all over my face this foundation provides medium coverage and you can build it up to achieve a fuller coverage as well but i'm keeping it um at the medium coverage right here for this look and i love the finish that it gives and it's super super long lasting then i'm going to take the instant age rewind um eraser eye concealer in the shade caramel to highlight my face which is like a couple of shades lighter than my own complexion so i'm just applying a little bit of the concealer on the under eyes on the center of my forehead on the bridge of my nose my cupid's bow and my chin the regular areas where i like to highlight and this concealer has a uh, much more coverage than the fit me concealer so yeah and i'm going to take my concealer brush one more time to blend everything out and this one gives more of a matte finish and helps in covering a lot of your imperfections i'm going over with my damp beauty blender on top of the concealer to uh, make sure that there are no harsh lines anywhere and the base looks seamless Now to set everything I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me loose powder in the shade medium deep which is like a deeper shade of um loose powder and I'm going to use that to uh, bake under my eyes and I'm using very very little amount of the powder here because this can go cakey if you uh, try to layer it up too much so I'm being very very careful and applying the tiniest amount possible on the areas where I like to bake For eyeliner I'm going to take the Maybelline uh, tattoo gel liner in the shade black and I'm going to create a beautiful bold winged eyeliner. I'm just using a thin eyeliner brush to trace uh, on top of the upper lash line to create that nice winged shape. Now on top of that I'm going to use the Colossal uh, liquid eyeliner in a black shade again and this is just going to intensify and make your eyeliner look super super jet black this is a small little trick and tip that I do to uh, create a very nice defined bold jet black eyeliner look whenever I want and the Colossal uh, liquid eyeliner is also great and super pigmented and super easy to use as well I'm going to dip the liner brush one more time into the gel um eyeliner to uh define the lower lash line so I'm just uh drawing a line uh from the corner of my eye until the middle of my eye on the lower lash line and I'm going to take a smudging brush to smudge out the liner um on the lower lashes and this is just going to create a beautiful smoky effect on the lower lash line Again going to go into the nudes palette and picking up the matte brown eyeshadow that we used earlier and taking a pencil brush and just smudging the um black liner that we applied on the lower lash line and to make everything look more seamless and blended now I'm going to brush off the excess powder away using a fluffy powder brush so that the base doesn't look too cakey And then I'm going to go in with mascara which is my favorite mascara from Maybelline. This is the Lash Sensational mascara and it adds beautiful volume and separates your eyelashes so well. So I'm just applying tons and tons of this mascara to my top and bottom eyelashes.
Once that is done, I'm going to take my Fit Me Compact Powder in the shade 330 Toffee Caramel, which is almost over and I've hit pan so badly because I love this compact powder. It adds a beautiful uh, finish to your face as well as adding a little bit of coverage as well. So I'm using that powder wherever I did not bake using the loose Fit Me powder and this is just going to set the base makeup and lock everything in place. Again, I'm going to pick up the matte brown um, eyeshadow from the Nudes palette to chisel my face. So I'm taking that um, matte brown eyeshadow on an angled face brush to um, add some definitions to the hollows of my cheeks on the perimeter of my forehead, my jawline and also on the sides of my nose to make my nose look more sharper. And this eyeshadow surprisingly worked perfectly as a contouring shade for me because um, I really don't have any contouring products from Maybelline because they all seem too light for my complexion so I never went ahead and bought any from them. Now for blusher, I'm taking the Fit Me uh, blusher in the shade uh, Wine and this is like a deeper peachy uh, blusher which has tiny little uh, shimmer particles but it doesn't come off too shimmery on the cheeks. It's quite subtle and I'm just popping that uh, right on top of the contour that we applied instead of applying to the apples of the cheeks and this is just gonna make your face look more sculpted and defined and yeah, really nice. For highlight, I'm going to take the Master Chrome highlight in the shade Molten Gold, which is such a powerful and impactful highlighter. So I'm taking the tiniest amount possible on a fan brush and just popping that to the tops of my cheekbones on the temples and also to highlight the cupid's bow, chin and the bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose, the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone. Coming to the lips, I'm going to take the Color Sensational Lip Liner um, in the shade Rich Chocolate. This is like a retractable lip pencil. So this one is like a, a red toned brown lip liner. So I'm just applying that to slightly overdraw my lips and to create a border for the lipsticks that I'm going to apply uh, in the next steps. For lipstick, I'm going to take the Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks and I've taken that in two shades. So the first shade is called Protector, which is one of my favorite brown lipsticks. So uh, this one is like a beautiful chocolatey brown shade. And I'm going to use that only on the outer corners of my mouth, not going on the inside. Sort of like a lip liner because I'm going to create a beautiful ombre lip. And then I'm going to take the Pioneer uh, lipstick from the Matte Ink uh, Liquid Lipstick range again. And this one is also my favorite because it's such a beautiful, cool toned a red lipstick so I'm just popping that on the centers of my mouth and this is just gonna create a beautiful ombre red lip and I loved uh, the lipstick on this day and this is super super long lasting so it's not gonna budge anywhere now to set and lock my makeup in place I'm gonna take the last thing fix setting spray from Maybelline and just gonna spray all over my face to uh, settle and lock everything down And here is the finished makeup look using all Maybelline makeup products. Um, yeah, this is kind of an unusual makeup look for me because I'm quite used to creating neutral looks for you all. So I thought uh, let's just uh, change it up a little bit and go all the way out to just experiment with looks, you know. Um, so yeah, this is the look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this one brand makeup look using all Maybelline products. I know. A lot of you have been um, requesting this uh, for quite a while so here it is uh, if you enjoyed watching this video make sure to give it a huge thumbs up comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos I'm conducting this giveaway as a token of appreciation for all of you guys who supported me throughout this uh, journey. Here are the rules and also the rules will be mentioned in the description box as well. Alright, now comes the giveaway. 
part. So these are all the products that you will win in the giveaway that I'm conducting today. And all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to my channel and make sure you're following me on Instagram. Leave a comment under this video telling me uh, which of the products in this giveaway is your favorite. And that's about it. And I wish you all the very best to win this giveaway. One lucky winner will get a chance to win all these goodies from the giveaway. And yeah, I wish you all the very best. And I shall see you guys soon in my next video. Bye.